Hello friends, this video on statistics part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this kind of bar graph for continuous class interval is called histogram. So if you see we are given a new name. So the bar graph was used for ungrouped frequency distribution table. But if you have a grouped frequency distribution table, then there continuous one continuous. But typically for continuous class interval, we use histogram. Okay. It is just like a bar graph, but it is used for continuous class interval. And you see the concepts are different. Here the width of the bar will matter. It will show you how. Okay. So let's take a scenario where the weight in kg of the students are given and the number of students are given. So we have sort similar kind of examples where we have presented this in the uh, continuous class interval, uh, continuous frequency uh, class. We have done that. Like right? group frequency distribution, we have done this. It's a group frequency distribution. So we have 30.5 to 30.5, 35.5, there 9 students, 35.5 to 40.5, 6 students, stuff like that. Okay. So in this case, we'll assume that 1 centimeter is 5 kg. We can do that. And then if you see the range, we have the number of students from 1 to 15. So we'll have 1 to 15 here. Since it's we are starting from 30, this is what this is variable. Value. Right, so we will have variable here and we have value here. So, variable if you see start from 30.5 to 60.5, since it is not starting from 0, we are not starting from, we are not creating 30.5 here, right? So, we have put a nick here or a break on this line. Okay. Now, we see this is 30.5, then after maybe 5 centimeter, we will put 35.5, then after again 5 centimeter, we will put 40.5 again 5 centimeter 45.5 so like that we'll put this okay why we have done this and why and we see the maximum is 60.5 so we are making sure that we have till 60.5 this is variable okay please note we are assuming one centimeter is 5 kg so this is one centimeter maybe okay that way we create a variable here and since the uh, number of students we, we saw the range from 1 to 15 the maximum was 15 so somehow we make sure that we have till 15 values here so you can you can have any units you can have take 2 4 6 8 you can say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 or you can say 3 5 15 anything you can do just you just make sure that whatever number you are have here you can plot it correct so for example we have uh, taken 2 4 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We could have also taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 till 16. We could have done that as well. But anything is fine. As long as you can plot this point, it is fine. But this one, you have to be a little careful. Right? So I assume that 1 centimeter is 5 kg and you can just draw these points at an interval of 1 centimeter. And there's a kink or break here because you're not actually. So if you start from here, 30.5, it will mean almost uh, how much? 30.5 by 5 so almost means 6.1 kg correct sorry 6.1 centimeter but we have not plotted the centimeter here so we have put a kink here just to say that there is a break hope you understand the concept of break see in the earlier example if you see okay, we don't have a kind of example we will show you some example where we will start from here for example if you start from 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, something like this. You don't need a break. But since you are starting from 30.5, so this distance is not 30.5. If this distance is 0.5, this distance is not 30.5, right? Because in that case, this distance will be almost what 61 times of this distance. Correct. If this distance represents 0.5, do you think this distance represents 30.5? No. Because these all distance represent 0.5. But this distance does not represent 30.5. That's why you have put up. Okay, now we have to represent the number of students. Okay, on the vertical axis on a suitable scale. Now we will draw a rectangle, and here the width of the rectangle should be equal to the class size and the length equal to the frequency of the corresponding class intervals, length or height. So if you see here. 
we have not drawn these points correctly. So I've redrawn these points, and now let's start with this. The first uh, bar here, the width matters, and obviously the length or the height also matters. Okay, the height is be, uh, will be similar to what we have seen in the graph. So this is nine. So it is almost equal to nine. So we see ten and eight somewhere nine will be here. So the height is nine. Width is from thirty to thirty point five. Similarly, the next class. Thirty-five point five to forty point five will have height of ten, six height of six. Similarly, next forty point five to forty-five point five height of fifteen. The next is forty-five point five to fifty point five the height of three. Somewhere here. Then we have fifty to fifty point five the height of one. Similarly here. Similarly, fifty-five point five to sixty point five will have the height of two. So, with this process, we could actually draw the histogram. So, what we have done, we have drawn rectangles of width equal to the class size and the height or the length equal to the frequency of the corresponding class interval. Please note the width is important here. Now, also observe there is no gap between the two consecutive rectangles. There is no gap. Because it's a continuous class interval, there is no gap, and the width is also important. Height is anyway important. This is called histogram. And please note the area of rectangle erected is proportional to the corresponding frequency. Please note area of rectangle for a given bar is proportional to Corresponding frequency, very very important concept. It is not the length; it is the area of the rectangle. It is not the length or the width. It is the whole area of this rectangle that is proportional to the corresponding frequency of the class. Frequency of class. Okay. So this is the concept of histogram. Please understand. This is typically used for continuous class interval, right? And to do this, we have drawn the class interval or the variable on the x and the frequency on the y. Here, the width matters. There should not be any gap between the two graphs, two bars. Height and width both matters, and the area of a rectangle actually is corresponding to the frequency of the class. Okay, let's take uh, one more example of the histogram to understand the concept. Better. The teacher, she is the teacher, and she wants to analyze the performance of the students in the maths test. Top hundred. She has actually created this uh, class. Okay, zero to twenty. There are seven students, twenty to thirty, ten students, thirty to forty, ten students, forty to fifty, uh, twenty students, fifty to sixty marks were achieved by twenty students, sixty to seventy marks were achieved by fifteen students, and Seventy two hundred eight students got this mark, and she created a histogram. But please note that the class here, you see, please note that the class size is not same here. The class size is twenty minus ten, that is twenty. Here the class width is thirty minus ten, that is sorry, thirty minus twenty, that is ten. Here forty minus thirty, that is ten. Fifty minus forty, that is ten. Sixty minus fifty, that is ten. Seventy minus sixty, ten. And hundred minus Seventy. That is thirty. So please note the class width is not same for all. And she has tried to create a histogram. This is the histogram she created. Right, zero to uh, twenty. She has made seven here. Okay, and seventy to ten. If you see, he has put three. Sorry, eight. Student count was eight. Now, do you think that this is the correct histogram? My question to you is. Given that this is the class interval of a group frequency distribution table, is this the correct histogram? The answer is no. Why? Because we told that the area of rectangle actually depicts the frequency. It's proportional to the frequency. So if you see here, this is three unit. Three into eight, twenty-four. 
this is 24 right this one is what 2 into almost 7 14 this is what 1 into 10 this is 10 10 20 20 and 15 so if you see that way this has a frequency of 24 and this has a frequency of 15 so looks like based on this it says that more students has got in the range of 70 to 100 it is not the case it's only 8 correct but in the case of 70 60 to 70 they are 15 so area actually should represent the frequency but it is not happening right now since the width is more here the area is not giving the correct frequency value I repeat once again as i told you the area of bar represents frequency of the class so if we write the area of these values here we see that the maximum area is for this so looking at this value we, we, we think that this has the maximum frequency but the maximum frequency is for some other class not for this right student count this frequency here so that means this is not a correct graph and the reason why it is not correct graph is because the class widths are not same right so if you just analyze this instead of 30 if i just make it in this fashion let's suppose if i make it 70 to 80 80 to 90 90 to 100 since the values are not given assuming now i have created i have changed from one class to three class so this eight students will be divided into three class so each class will get eight by three eight by three students then because it is not told that which class has how many students so in this case if you see if i had to draw a 70 to 80 box it will be somewhere here somewhere 8 by 3 somewhere here 8 by 3 is how much almost 2 point something right so almost 2 point something here, somewhere here so it will come somewhere here i think so we'll have three box of this This is extra and this happened because we had extra we had the classes of different width correct so if you just analyze this problem so if you just try to make the class same and this also if you make the class same 0 to uh, if you break this into 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 so each class will have 7 by 2 that is 3.5 and 3.5 this will also become 3.5 these are extra so there is something to think about correct so if i am making all equal class uh, width then i can see the frequency is 3.5 3.5 and this becomes almost uh, 2 point okay almost this value correct so now that means the frequency which we have got is not correct in this case because the student count the class width the class width were not same so in this kind of scenario where you have the data because see we have told that it is it is your discretionary to create a different class you can have a class of different width as well it is not required that all the class should have equal width so in this kind of scenarios where the class widths are not same so you cannot just plot the uh, data with the frequency and assuming the class width are same the class widths are not same so we have to recalculate the frequency okay so let's use this formula to get the new frequency there's nothing but the old frequency into minimum class size by the current class size so for example in this case it will be what rectangle length is nothing but frequency right the new frequency old frequency into minimum class size we have seen is 10 by the current class size there is 20 this will be 10 into minimum class size 10 current class size 10 this is 10 into frequency into minimum class size is 10 maximum class size is 
current class is 10. Similarly, so this one current frequency into minimum class is 10 by current class is 10. Here also 20 into minimum class is 10, current class is 10. This also 15 into minimum class is 10, current class is 10. This one 8 into minimum class is 10, current class is 30. So you solve this, this becomes 3.5, this is 10, this is 10, this is 20, this is 20, this is 15, and this is 2.67. Right? Let me write 2.67 here. Okay, so with this data we can plot the graph now. So if you see 0 to 20, the value is 3.5, so almost 3.5. Somewhere here it will come. So I plotted this graph. And then we have 20 to 30 is 10. And then again 30 to 40 is 10. And then 40 to 50 is again 10. And then 50 to 60 is again 10. Right, 60 to 70 is 15. Sorry, this is 20, 20. Again, 15. And then 70 to 100, if you see, such a the long graph. So the width is 70 to 100, and the height is 2.67. So if you see, this is the correct histogram. The one which we had earlier was not correct. Why? Because the class size were different. So you have to actually Calculate the correct frequency. The correct frequency is let me write here. Correct frequency is old frequency into minimum class size by current class size. Please remember this formula. And logically, also I showed you how this is true. Right, I show you to that if uh, 7200 class, if you actually break into three class, then each class will have 2.67 as the student count. Similarly, 0 to 20 class, if you break into two class of 0 to 10 and 10 to 20, each class will have the frequency of 3.5. And that's what it came here. That was the logical explanation. This is the same using formula. So in exams, you can directly use the formula to get the answer. But logically, this is how it is. And this is the correct histogram for this particular data. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attend free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.